Hello, I'm gonna demonstrate for you how to use a gauze muzzle or a rope muzzle with a dog. Um, you might wanna use a rope muzzle if you're in a situation where you cannot get near the dog with a regular muzzle or a commercial muzzle. So if I'm trying to, I mean, this muzzle's way too small for this dog, uh, but if I'm trying to get this on the dog and he's like, bite, 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 and I can't get it on there, um, sometimes what happens is you just end up getting this over the nose and this part's like inside the mouth. If I can't get this on him, I need something that's a little bit of a safer option. And that's where my rope muzzle can come in. And if you can't get him rope muzzled, it's time to start looking at sedation. So this is just some twill ribbon I have. Um, you can use a shoelace. If you have stretch gauze, you can use that. Uh, we want something that's long enough. Um, it's gonna go um, around the snout, okay? So we have like a, a just a regular knot. It goes around the snout. It goes under and crisscrosses, and then it ties behind the ears, and we want to tie it in a bow behind the ears. So as long as you have something that is long enough to accommodate that, you'll be able to practice this at home. So let me show you how we do this in practice. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a single throw knot. So a single throw knot is like that first step when you're tying your shoe, okay? So it just goes around like that. This is probably actually a little bit long but um i'm just gonna run with it anyway so i like to hold it open with like some of my fingers or my pinkies however i want it nice and big and wide kind of like when we're doing a loop lead right um but i don't want it so wide that it's going to um be difficult to get it tightened around his nose when we're doing a rope muzzle we have a pretty small window to make it work and dogs get crafty and figure out real quick what we're up to so we want to do it right the first time if we can. So I've got, actually I'm just going to redo this because it's kind of twisty. So I've got my single throw knot ready to go and I'm holding it nice and wide like this. Again, when I'm approaching, I want to be sure I'm not putting my hands in a place that I can get bit. Be aware of where your fingers are in relation to that dog's mouth. So I've got a decent amount of um, a window here to get this in. So I feel like all we're seeing is my arms. I'm just gonna change maybe the perspective here. Is this a bit better? Hopefully that's a bit better. You're kind of over my shoulder now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it cool like nothing's going on and then I'm gonna get that up and over. I wanna be quick when I make that movement and I'm snugging it nice and tight. At this point, this dog's probably like, rawr, 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 let me go. And I need to be persistent and I need to be calm and I need to be quick. So I've got that first knot under, I need to throw it underneath again. So it just goes under and twists, okay? You just bring it under the snout and change hands on that, on that uh, string ends. And then it goes up and under the ears, and then we tie it in a nice little bow. So this now has got the dog's mouth closed for us. But this is by no means a safe way to handle this dog. So he, I mean, we, he doesn't open his mouth, he's a stuffy, but we can see he could still open his mouth. He could still probably even bite us with his little front teeth because this isn't holding the whole mouth closed, it's just kind of holding it closed a little bit. So at this point, we need to put a commercial muzzle on top. Now this one doesn't, it's gonna be too small for this guy, but we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna fake it till we make it. So we're gonna put that up and over. So same way as we did with the, with the commercial muzzle without that rope tie, we're gonna get it up and over and then clip it behind their ears and snug it up nice and tight so that he is now protected. So this is securing that gauze muzzle. Uh, a gauze muzzle or rope muzzle is not safe on its own. It needs to have a commercial muzzle on top. So now that we're done the procedure with this dog, it's time to take the muzzle off. I'm gonna make sure I have a firm grip on his leash because I do not want him getting away from me when he does not have his uh, muzzle on. So I'm going to uh, unclip that muzzle and I'm gonna take it off, keeping my hands nice and clear of the mouth. I'm gonna pull that off. Back here, I'm going to untie that bow and now I can just kind of bring it forward and a real dog at this point usually starts pawing at its mouth and will pull that right off and then you can pull it free. So I don't wanna get in here and take this string from him cause he's gonna bite me, right? So I wanna to try to just like keep my hands free and away from that dog's mouth, okay? And um, we wanna make sure that when we're doing this, we are being 
firm and quick. So we're not like, we don't want to take our time. We, when we're doing this part, we don't, we want to make sure our mouths aren't, or our hands aren't right by that mouth. Okay. We want to be firm and decisive because like I said, they catch on really quick what we're doing. So I have that nice big window. I'm like, who's a good puppy? Who's so good? Bam. Get that on, get that underneath, crisscross it under here, bring it up and around, tie it in that bow, and then secure it with a commercial muzzle. And that's how, oh, and then I'll just tie it, untie it to remove it. And that's how we place um, a rope muzzle followed by a commercial muzzle. <laughs> he would have helped me there. Don't untie that for him. <laughs> um, and that's how we do a gauze muzzle. Thank you.